everybody, Nutty New here on uh, 2016 August. It is August 14th, I believe, today. Uh, <clears throat> Sunday evening, it's about uh, 8.48 p.m. and I just started my trip uh, for my two weeks of moose hunting. Today is Sunday and uh, opening day for moose hunt is on next Saturday, uh, but I'm going to my area about one week ahead or five days ahead. Uh, just to get prepped up and get uh, get the get get a head start of, of the game. But uh, <coughs> I'll be doing a quick uh, I'll be doing a video of my uh, 2016 hunt. So uh, please stay tuned, enjoy the videos, and uh, enjoy some of the sceneries that I'll be bringing to uh, this video here for us. All right, it's 10:23 uh, p.m. and uh, doing a quick gas stop here in Talkeetna, filling up the Toyota. We haven't done any gas stops since we left Anchorage, so I think it should take about maybe uh, eight gallons, eight gallons or so. 3.0 V6 eats a lot of gas, especially when you're towing, and uh, we have all this all this stuff right here, lots of stuff. I've arrived at my destination, but it's too dark to, it's way too dark to do anything outside right now. So I'm just, uh, I'm currently just in my car. I'll be sleeping in the car for the night. But I'll be here for about two weeks now, and, uh, I'll be planning if this is how I'm going to take a shower. I have baby wipes, so we call it, uh, when we ride bikes and motorcycle, we call this a horse, horse shower. Because you're using this to wipe yourself down. Just like a little baby here, like a little cute Asian baby. And uh, I got three rolls of toilet paper. Uh, I got plenty of napkins. These are from the gas station, so I took a lot for these from the gas station. And I brought some napkins and also some of the one that comes on the row. I did brought my small 500 watt generator, so I'll be able to plug this in later on. And I have some light if I need to use it outside. Uh, but for, like I said, right now it's way too dark and I don't have anything set up yet outside. Uh, two sleeping bags and a bunch of supplies. I have three cases of water. I think they're 34 or 36 cases of bottled waters. And then I also have a five gallon jug of water for washing hands and stuff like that. I'm going to really try to conserve everything because I'm planning to stay here for two weeks or even longer. So um, try not to eat too much, try not to drink too much, and just kind of reserve everything as much as possible. Unless I get my moose early and then I'll go home early. But if not, we'll stay longer. But yeah, that's the wrap for tonight. Uh, so tomorrow we'll wake, or later on, to, it is already, it's 1.32 a.m. Uh, we'll wake up tomorrow, or today, later on. Uh, I'm not even going to focus on hunting grouse yet. It is grouse season two, so I'm going to be focusing on setting up the camp. I'll set up camp, and then uh, after we set up the camp, I might go shoot one or two grouse, and uh, we'll cook it, and I'll show you guys how we cook moose. No, how we cook grouse. First day, 12.43 p.m. I went for a short cruise <coughs> and uh, I was finally able to find this beautiful grouse here. Uh, this is a male grouse, male spruce grouse. You can tell the males by the uh, that red mark on their eyes. The females don't have that. So I'm going to cook this one tonight. So I'm going to start plucking it and then uh, we'll get it on. We'll, we're going to boil this baby up. It's still really uh, nice and warm, so you want to pluck it when it's still warm. Alright guys, sorry there, I was quick, uh, a little bit busy butchering the chicken. But uh, it's all been cut up right now, and I'm about to get ready to make the, uh, the broth stew for it. So uh, I won't show too much, but I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's finished. Uh, we're going to add some salt, pepper, and some lemongrass, and some mint to it. Uh, nothing too special, but just to give a little uh, natural fl fl florist forest taste. Okay, so this is what I'm using for these, uh, the grouse soup that I'm doing. Uh, just some salt, black pepper. I have some uh, mint. I'm not sure what the American terminology for these mint are called. Uh, red pepper and lemongrass. 
and that's pretty much it. It's All right, so uh, it's been about it's it's been about five minutes since I've been cooking this grouse here, and uh, it's almost ready. But uh, I'm gonna let it boil for about a couple more minutes, so the uh, just so it's a bit more soft. Uh, but there's an old saying that me and my buddy we always joke about is that uh, we always say you know don't clean it too good, leave it a little bit dirty. So the uh, the taste will stay natural. So it's a bit like I said. There's a few uh, you can't really see it, but there's a few feathers still on, attached to the uh, skin. You know, which you know you're not gonna die from it. So it's always good to just have it a little bit kind of dirty, keep it fresh, natural. Because uh, we're in nature, baby. This is what nature's all about. You know, uh, eating it fresh from what Mother Nature gives you. So uh, it looks really good right now. I just gave it a little t taste, uh, added a bit more salt to it, but uh, it's it's ready to be eaten any time now. All right, guys. So my grouse soup, grouse meal is now uh, cooked, <coughs> and that's uh, basically it. It's just basically grouse with my uh, plain white rice and uh, delicious lunch meal. It's 1:43 p.m. Uh, maybe after this, we'll go ahead and go take a nap, and then uh. We'll rest up for the evening. Alright everybody, today is day two. Uh, I believe it's Tuesday, the 14th. No, it's not. It is Tuesday, the 16th. So Tuesday, the 16th, we have four days till opening days for moose hunt in Alaska. Um, really there isn't much to do today. I went out and did one round checking out the trail and I saw absolutely nothing. Not a single moose, not a single grouse. So I've decided to just stay at camp today. Um, don't use too much gas on the on the ATV and I'm just gonna hang out and reserve my energy so I'm not eating too much. Just drinking water and then uh, it's about 3.23 p.m. Hang out, sleep, just relax, enjoy the beautiful life. Um, and then uh, Tuesday, and then my brother and a couple buddies are coming on Thursday. And then uh, we'll hang out Friday, talk about our plan, our game plan. And then uh, Saturday, we'll try to hunt down our moose for the 2016th. And if we don't get out Saturday, then I plan to stay about a week until I get one. A week after that until I get one. So uh, we'll see how that goes, and uh, hopefully we have something to show you guys. Um, other than that, for day two, there won't be much video, so we'll be skipped on to day three right now. About to use the predator call. Do some predator call and see if there's any coyote or black bear around the area here. Yeah? and it's crazy rain right now
Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Meow. Meow. Bye. Hello. down his bull moose so we're gonna go take a look and see <coughs> how big this guy is all right this is 2016 moose hunting Alaska okay let's see here okay all right this is it right here I think oh Damn, that thing's far in there, dude. Be a long pack. Easy pack. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we're about 50 yards into the woods. Oh, shit, Steve. Right there. Dang. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Damn. Look at that. What is that? 4 2? Yeah. Alright, let's four, take four, a look four, at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright. Pass moose. Oh. Oh. Alright, Blast, let's take a look, Blast. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Oh. 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 Four brown tie. She's trying to get Hey, we are field dressing the moose. Uh, working on the ribs right now. The pay guy right here. We gotta respect this guy. This moose is a, this moose. <laughs> This moose is about 3,000 pounds. About a two-ton moose right here, big bull, 50 inch, four brown tine, two on two brown tine, four and two four. Today is August 20th, 2016, opening day for moose season in Alaska. Oh, yeah. We uh, harvest this beautiful moose for brown tine, 4 to 50 inch. Alaska moose hunt. Alright guys, what's up? So it's been day three of hunting and it's been the eighth day I've been here. Uh, unfortunately we haven't got I haven't got anything yet, so we're leaving this area and we're gonna be heading up north to Chicken, Alaska, which is way up there near uh, near the border. Made it to Eureka, <coughs> Eureka Lodge heading up north to Chicken, Alaska. 
had some great breakfast here. Uh, currently waiting for two more guys. They're about uh, 15 minutes out, so they should be heading. <coughs> they should be heading south or heading north here shortly, and then we're all gonna row three convoys. Headed to Chicken, Alaska for some beautiful moose hunt up in Alaska, and that is a beautiful cloud over there. Look at that. The sun is just trying to break in between those clouds, but uh, it's a bit too cloudy today, to be honest. But hey, it's uh, it's nice and dry, and it's a bit chilly. There's snow on the top of the mountain right now. So uh, we'll see how the weather is up in Chicken, Alaska. Toyota's doing pretty fine. You can see here it's pretty sagging on the back because I do have a lot of load in my truck. And also hauling the Grizzly, which is about 400 to 500 pounds, I believe. Nice place here. Um, Eureka Lodge, home of the 25 cents cup of coffee. If, you, a, uh, if you're a coffee drinker, I'm not really a much of a coffee guy, so water will do me just fine. <clears throat> There's a beautiful lake back over here, which is really nice. Alright guys, stay tuned. We'll be doing one more stop up in Glen Allen, and then up in Toke, and then probably up in Chicken. And that's not them, I think. That is them. Alright, we are, uh, we're at Glen Allen here. Just gassed up. One, two, Come on, boys, we're heading up north to Chicken, Alaska. Woo! We are stopped because we have a flat tire. Woo! You got spear, right? Yeah, we'll fix it up. Oh. Shot Oh, a flat tire. I got a high lift. Alright guys, it is uh, the 22nd and 23rd, just a ride up in Chicken, going for a moose hunt. Locked and loaded, ready to row. It's about 2.30 p.m. right now. Up in Chicken, Alaska, heading up for a moose hunt. <coughs> Current situation right now is that uh, Peter was the last one. And when we came and stopped here for a rest, we looked in this back, and the cooler has fallen. So now he has back, he's backtracking about four miles back, and hopefully he can retrieve it, because that has some food in there, so hopefully it's not too much damage. So uh, we're waiting for him right now. In the meanwhile, there's tons of blueberry. We wish we would have brought a blueberry picker, but we don't have a blueberry picker. Look at all these blueberries. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. You can just do that like that. Just kind of go like that and get yourself a handful and eat them. Very nutritious. All right, we'll update soon. All right, we're still waiting for Peter. In the meanwhile, we're just blueberry picking. Having a little quick snack. Nature snack. Uh, lots of blueberry. <laughs> so fresh. These darker ones are getting older. And then there's some, some lighter ones, so you guys see the difference. Well, that's a bad difference here. That's a dark one. You guys see that one? That one's more darker. But they're still all good. Very tasty. Definitely wish I brought a uh, blueberry picker. I could probably eat about five gallons of this right now. Everywhere. All right, we made it to Chicken. Setting up our campsite. 
got a nice, nice valley on both sides of this mountain rock. And I'm currently setting up camp. We're about 50 miles out right now. Just shot the, just shot my moose. Nice small bull moose. Kind of deep in here though. Right over here. Right over here. 